In cardiology, the clinical examination must start with an extremely precise review of the patient's medical history and records. In both internal medicine and cardiology, there is a strong analogy with a police inquiry in that the details that may seem unimportant turn out to be absolutely decisive. The owner is not aware of these details. What is important to him or her may not be important to us. So you need to lead the conversation and ask the right questions. We are going to find out what the right questions are and in what order they should be asked. Among the key questions to ask, first, the owner's address. Not just the current address, but the address over the last two years. A simple example of this is what happened to me and nearly caught me out. A trip to Polynesia within the previous six months, which immediately made me think of dirofilariosis in this dog, although the disease is virtually non-existent in France. The second important issue to consider is before your very eyes, the breed. The breed will be decisive, particularly for epidemiology. For example, we know that Cavalier King Charles Spaniels are predisposed to degenerative valve disease, while large breeds such as Dobermans are predisposed to dilated cardiomyopathy. Gender may also be of interest. So it is also important to record this. We know, for example, that with the two diseases mentioned earlier, degenerative valve disease and dilated cardiomyopathy, patients are more commonly males, whereas sufferers of a congenital cardiopathy such as a patent ductus arteriosus, PDA, are more commonly female. The weight of the animal is a very important factor to be recorded from the outset. It will be decisive, firstly in the dosage of drugs, and secondly because the weight might change as the disease progresses. For example, it is known that congestive heart failure patients invariably lose weight. On the same subject, another very important aspect to assess straight away is whether the animal is overweight. We know that in overweight subjects, certain disorders will be aggravated, such as tracheal collapse. We also know that with congestive heart failure, once the process is underway, the subject will inevitably lose weight, so an obese dog is probably not suffering from congestive heart failure. These are all key points, and so is the animal's age. Obviously, a two- or three-month-old puppy with a suspected heart problem will immediately make you think of congenital cardiopathy, while a dog over 10 years old will make you think of an acquired cardiopathy, such as degenerative valve disease. Another important point to ascertain is the reason for the consultation. Why have the owners come? This needs to be taken into account, although it is not necessarily the most vital element. As we said earlier, what is important to the owner may not seem the most important to us. So, take the reason for the consultation on board and make a note of how long this has been going on. Is it an acute disorder or a chronic disorder, in other words, lasting for more than six months? It is also very important to bear in mind previous treatments. These treatments may even be a decisive factor. Imagine, for example, a dog with a cough and a dog has not responded to a previous course of furosemide. This is proof that the cough is not due to oedema. So the problem is probably not cardiogenic. In certain cases, you may have obtained some essential answers before you even examine the dog. It is also important to ask what other examinations have already been performed. Firstly, in order to be able to see them if possible, but also so as not to have to redo what has already been done. It is also crucial to ask about the medical history of the animal, what illnesses it has had, what illness it has now, some very simple examples. 
She's in, in an elderly age, dog with a suspected heart disorder, chronic kidney disease or hyperadrenocorticism will considerably complicate treatment, so it is important to be aware of this from the start. Très important. Autre exemple frappant et très simple, une chienne âgée amenée pour de la toux chronique. If an elderly dog brought in for a chronic cough has been operated on in the previous two years for a mammary tumor which turned out to be a malignant tumor, it is clear that this will lead us towards something unrelated to cardiology.